Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. This is going to be a special standalone episode, uh, in part to address some uh, discussion that's been going on on the message forums, in that um, people are looking at ways to have uh, aircraft enter, uh, it packs enter and exit on different floors, okay? So let's just cover the basics here. This is a, 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 an airport I was working through on the Edge server uh, when uh, multi-level was in initial testing and whatnot. Now, you'll see some familiar stuff here if you've watched any of Season 3. This is where I originally started playing around with the idea of running baggage conveyors on the ground level. So if I show you this and I drop down to underground, that's the underground. That's it. That's all there is to it. And really, that's excessive. Um, this over here could be narrower. This over here could be, you know, that doesn't have to be there. You know, uh, there's a number of things here that could be a little more efficient to save cost. But you'll also notice I don't have here connected to all the way over here, right? You'll also notice my fuel pipeline goes all the hell the way around. <laughs> but fuel pipeline is a lot cheaper than building foundation. So let's go back up to the ground level here and let me show you what we're working with. All right, so I got two max length runways yes you see an xl gate i know that's something you don't normally see uh and this is a uh, 787 uh, i think that's the biggest aircraft i have flying into this airport um so uh what was the design what's so special about it all right so here's the deal uh this was where i first started working on the idea of stacking the terminal okay but in this case what we're doing is actually running all three size gates off of one pier. Now you can see I did have the intention of building down here and building a second pier out this way. All right. And then it would be served by like one runway over here. Okay. But uh, this is how far I got in the construction uh, aspect of this. Um, all right. So this is the ground floor. You see, I also incorporated some moving walkways, uh, which get people through. So we've got ticketing. Uh, this is where uh, somebody had told me you could put ticketing kiosk outside. I got those in uh, involved. Uh, I've also got uh, ticketing nicely set up here and then lots of security uh, throughput for packs. Now, here's where things start getting a little bit interesting. All right, this is again the ground floor. Okay, notice here's the security exit. All right, so this is the secure zone. Basically, you start at this wall here. All right, this wall over to here, down to here. Over here, here's the security zone. All right, so everything to the right of this is in the secure area, right? All right, so you pass through security. Now you're in this little area here. Now, the intention, again, was to build another concourse uh, down here, and this was going to be a big hallway, right, with some bathrooms in the middle and then some kiosks or something. And then these uh, uh, si uh, purple, magenta, yellow stripes, those were going to be moving walkways, all right? Now, so packs come through security, all right? Then they go, uh, they have a couple of options. Now, uh, a late addition to this was the small gates down here, A4 and A5, all right? I think I've got B on this side. Uh, so A4 and A5 are small gates. They're served on the first floor, okay? Packs and even uh, your pilots and whatnot. Shoom, shoot down the moving walkway. There's restrooms there. There's some space here reserved for future use. Um, and actually, it'll probably remain pretty empty because... Um, so uh, that way, you know, there's got to be stuff above it. I mean, I, I'm building above it, but uh, I want to make sure uh, things were, uh, you know, covered from that uh, perspective. I just started building gate B1, right? So I needed this here. And you'll see that in a minute. Uh, it's not fully done. So uh, let's see. All right. So. All right, so people come down here to uh, the small gates. All right, nothing earth-shattering about that. All right, there's a couple of kiosks. There's lots of seating. Uh, they process through. Now, you'll see, though, I do have some, some walls set up here. And the idea here is to channel arriving packs around the seating area and out. Okay? Now, there's a staff door here so they can access this area. But uh, that's all this is. Now, since when, when I was uh, building this... 
um, the uh, packs were still running through objects except walls. So they shouldn't be now that we're on this uh, point of the build, because this is on the experimental I've loaded this up. And since that coding advanced to this point, it should be good. Uh, so we'll see when we run it forward. It may crash the game, I don't know. But, okay, so back to the first floor. So we get here, and there's stairs and an escalator going up. All right? So let's pop up to the second floor and see what's going on there. Now, here's those stairs and escalators. All right? They come up to the second floor. Now, I don't have it ready yet, but when it's ready, this wall and benches and stuff right here get taken out. And here's gate B1. And then there'll be gate B2. Uh, and then a couple more if I build them further down here. Okay? I'm not sure if they're going to be ground level gates, uh, small gates, or uh, second level gates yet. Large gates. Uh, but again, I, th th this design, I'm really kind of past it and moved on to other things. All right. Point being, uh, packs can come up to the second floor and then they would be able to go to their aircraft here. Okay? And there's a flight crew lounge. Now, Otherwise, packs going to the big gates uh, over here continue up to the third floor, all right? So they go through security on the first floor, then they go up the escalators to the second floor, they go up, continue up to the third floor. So let's bounce up there. Wow. Everything's on the third floor, huh? How about that? Got an electrical room with a PA system, got a coffee bar, sushi bar, first class lounge, restrooms, the whole nine yards. Um, moving walkway get people along fast oh even a big bar yeah so uh, and more restrooms tons of stuff uh four gate uh four ticket uh, gate agent desks excuse me per gate okay so we got pretty good lines here for uh, high passenger throughput three of the four are dedicated coach one for first class but the first class uh desk will then switch over and start handling uh coach packs so this is how it looks on the third floor now if you know, oh, hang on a second. This is kind of annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, let me just clear this out. Well, that okay. That partially cleared it. Is my mouse going to give me? My mouse is going to be giving me grief again this evening. It did that last night. All right. So anyway, all right. So here's packs come to the third floor. Okay. They check in at their gate, and then they go down these escalators to the second floor. Right. Let's pop back down to the second floor. Wait a minute. What, what they and then they board their aircraft how about that eh, eh, eh? you like that so all the facilities to serve these gates are on the third floor packs drop down to the second floor just to board the aircraft that's it done and gone now you see right here this plane's obviously just landed all these packs are coming in from it so now watch what happens now arriving packs can't go up those escalators, so they have to shoot down this hallway, then they have restrooms available, then they have stairs and escalators down to the first floor, out of security, to baggage claim, and out of the terminal. Zoom. Goodbye. Thank you for flying with us. Or, if eventually this is the case, and let's watch some of these packs, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the game in motion here, and watch, and let's see if any of them break off come down this way and go back up the stairs okay there should be no reason for them to do that let's go a little bit quicker here there's a bunch heading this way and they're going down okay they're going down that stairs there are packs coming from here and heading upstairs okay you see that now these packs have come upstairs are they just going for a joyride? I mean, look, they just came over here. This is the one we were watching. She's like over here, and she's in line for another flight. Okay? So another plane just came in. All right? So again, packs are coming along. A bunch are going down security. But see how they don't interact? Here's the ones boarding. Zoom. They just push through. Zoom. All right? So here's packs boarding this aircraft. They go down the escalators, they get on the airplane, and some of them go over to this side. I, I eh, whatever. I, you know, I could, could fix that with a wall in between there, I'm sure, you know, the further segregate it. But uh, it, it doesn't bother me too much. And so that's, that's how it works. All right, so then the packs deplane on two, and then they 
they're you know kind of they're controlled all right but now you can see there's a whole new flock of packs coming in and they're all heading upstairs for the next uh, next round of flights that come in how about them apples uh, maybe that will help some of you guys out and maybe give you some things to think about as far as your terminal design uh, as a way to segregate and control packs flow uh, as you can see it's it's really efficient I mean zoom everybody comes off all right, let, let's pick someone here. Let's watch someone and wait, 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 wait for it. This woman right here. Okay, let's follow her. Where's she going? All right, see it automatically jumped to the third floor. That was awesome. Where are you going? She's going to ride down the way. And, uh, hello. Guess who just got in line? She just went through line and just went downstairs and just boarded another aircraft. Actually, she may have just reboarded the same aircraft she came off of. But there you go. So those of you saying packs don't make connections through the airport, I beg to differ, and you just saw it. Now, let's try it one more time just for giggles. All right, we're going to watch this crew here. Here's some folks coming this way. Let's see what this guy, what's this person doing? They're hit, kind of heading this way. You going to take the uh, stairs up? You going to you going to take the escalator? What are you doing there, man? What are you doing? Nope, nope. You, you. Follow. All right, here we go. Let's see where this guy's going. Let's speed it up a little bit. Up to the third floor. Oh, he going back downstairs. All right. Don't know why he came up, but there are people coming down the way here again. That are going somewhere. So let's follow this passenger and see where they're going. All right. So here's here's old man. He he he's lost or something. Now this packs checking in the garbage can. Now it's cruising down this way. Not sure where they're going. Not sure where they're going. Not sure where they're going. They're kind of sitting down. Uh, all those benches, but they wanted to sit here. So their rest number's going up. Gate A2 at 1830. Hey, dude, your plane takes off in like five minutes. What are you doing? Oh, no, 1830. It's 1630. Hey, what's this Pax doing here, guys? If Pax don't transfer, why, what's he doing? All right. Where did they come from? All right, you see what I'm saying? All right, let's let's pop back downstairs because I think down. Oh wait, never mind. Clear. They're they're lined up for their flight. So here's these people now, and there's a whole bunch of them heading this way. Let's watch Baldy here. All right, this bald guy right here. Not the janitor, the other one. No, pa passenger. Okay, follow. They just came in off the flight. Do, 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 and they're going out on a different flight. And now it's raining. Now he's taking a leak or going potty, something like that. Dude, you could have washed your hands. That's gross. Man, what a jerk. Now he's going to this bathroom to wash his hands. Now that didn't make any sense. Now he went, now he went and touched the ATM machine. Ew! Well, okay, maybe he washed his hands. Okay, so he's good. All right. So now he's wandering, he's wandering, he's wandering. Now he's back to the ATM machine. Uh... Yeah, he's in line, and he's going to go get on this flight. So there you go, folks. All right, and let's follow. There he goes downstairs, and zoom, he's gone. Goodbye. So you like apples? How about them apples? There's another way you can build a multi-level terminal. You can control your packs flow, and if you're paying attention, you'll see that there are packs. Let's watch this crowd here. All right. We're getting kind of late in the flight day, so there may not be too many connecting. But where is this person going? This person, this person, this person, this person. Yeah, these folks just arrived. They're heading downstairs. I don't know where they're going downstairs, but they're going downstairs. But there are packs arriving that... Ah, uh, wait. That guy just came off the flight. Look what it says. All right. Gate A1 at 2315. Coach packs on Rexicana 8493. All right. 
So I am convinced that packs do transfer aircraft in uh, in this setup. All right. Yeah, we can continue to argue it, or maybe I misread something or missaw something there, but that's what I observed. I thought it was pretty clear. So, uh, anyway, all right, so, so again, some ideas on how to, to put your uh, uh, carousels and hubs above ground, saving uh, cost, and uh, set up your moving walkways to expedite people moving along, how to stack the terminal, and maximize the facilities. So we got all this here is on gate on uh, second level, right, to serve these gates. And then it's just got these little areas cut out and isolated to serve these gates, all right? Meanwhile, all their facilities are up here on the third floor, all right? What, what do you guys think about that, huh? Is that, uh, is that something special or what? All right, so that's going to be it for this uh, quickie episode here of Sim Airport, now available in early access on Steam. Link in the description below. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to say something here. I'm going to say a magic phrase. We're going to say cool beans, daddy-o. How about that? Cool beans, daddy-o. So that's uh, another magic phrase to write down and hold on to for very soon access. I'm writing these down so I don't forget them. Cool beans, daddy. Oh. All right. So, cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, uh, maybe you learned something, give us a like. Uh, feel free to comment, ask questions, or uh, throw out some constructive criticism. Better ways I could do things. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm also trying to help others learn. So, uh, I'm taking what I've learned in my testing and playthrough and uh, trying to apply that here to help everyone else. So uh, questions, comments, and constructive criticism are welcome in the uh, comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you'll give us a like, share with your buds. Appreciate all the support out there on the message boards of folks saying, hey, A-Train may know this, or hey, check out A-Train's video on this. Yay. Uh, that's really cool. I appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. And you may have a question on the uh, discussion boards, and I may just make a video of it, because I may, you know, have seen something like it. So... I uh, appreciate it, folks. Have a, a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.